Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for framework tutorial. This is our part number 10. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about parameterized routing or we may say URI routing. So before you starting this video, if you go to the documentation of codeigniter.com, click on documentation. We have Codeigniter 4, click on online user guide. Click here controllers and routing and here we will get all about URI routing. So I strongly suggest you also going through this video you need to keep in mind all about this documentation of routing.html. This is the link is going to give you about the strong knowledge of how can we use URI routing in different different cases. Now inside this video, we will discuss some methods, some of the placeholders of to implement all about URI routing. Scroll down. Now here we have a section of placeholders like we have some placeholders like any, segment, number means num, alpha, alpha num and hash. Here are some placeholders and their descriptions. Now we are going to use step by step about any, num, alpha, alpha num inside this video. So first of all, what is parameterized routing or let's say URI routing. So here, if I copy this URL back to our slide, open a new tab pasting it here. Now as we can see that this is a neat and clean URL. All we can say that this is our welcome page URL. Now inside this URL, let's add some piece of information like index.php and here we have a route name called call-me and inside this we are going to add some parameters. Let's say that value1, value2, value3 value and so on. So these are the parameters what we are passing inside this URL. So it is known as URI routing or parameterized routing. Now these values are of any type. It will be either integer value, let's say alphanumeric value, alphabetic value or by means containing any special characters. So if we want to pass all kind of value inside any URL, we need to tell our application or our method by the help of placeholders. So that's why inside this documentation, we can see that we have any, is any stands for we can pass any type of value like integer, alphabetic characters, alphanumeric characters and so on. This num stands for to pass only integer value. This alpha stands for only to pass alphabetic values. So let's see in action if I back to editor. And this is all about our main file called routes.php. And inside this file, what I will do, let's routes. Here we are going to use called get method. And simply we are defining a simplest method, let's say call me. And here we have site controller. And inside this site controller, we have a method called call me. So what I will do next, we need to define this method inside this controller. So press control B, controllers, site controller. And inside this controller, let's say public function. And here we have the method name called call me. So echo welcome to online web tutor. Now if I wrap this message inside h2 selector, save these changes, go and if I type index.php and type call-me. Now this is the static message what we have supplied inside our method. Now let's say that if we are going to pass here some like string value like channel name online web tutor now if i press enter right now we are getting 404 because we don't have any parameterized routing so far for this route to handle about this value so first we need to tell this method that we are going to pass our parameter values so what i will do we need to pass here all about our value type means placeholder 
So if suppose we are sure that we are going to pass our string values means alphabetic characters so what I will do simply type alpha here this is one of the placeholder from this list its alpha will match any string of alphabetic characters so what I will do simply after defining placeholder here we need to tell this method that we are going to pass like a value inside our URL and you need to handle that so call me now is going to accept a value which is alphabetic characters so let's say here value 1 now what I will do simply I will go and concatenate here let's say value 1 save this change go and reload this page now as we can see that here we have online web tutor which is alphabetic characters and here is the value what we are getting now instead of this message if I type other messages so here we are getting now let's say that if suppose we are misspelled about let's say value and this time this is an integer value now if we press enter again we have error called 404 file not found it's because this is an integer value but actually we told our method that we are going to pass our alphabetic characters so in that situation what I will do if I pass num here it means it is going to accept that value but again when we pass this value it is going to throw that error something file not found so here we have a strong placeholder to accept any kind of value that is any here it means either we can pass any string value any integer value as well as any alphanumeric value if we pass any here it means we are going to accept any value type so this is all about our parameterized routing so here we are playing with only one parameter if suppose we have second parameter into the URL called this is for any type and this is for integer type we need to tell our method that this time we are going to pass the second value go to controller let's say value 2 equal to null and here inside this let's and this time we are going to pass our value 2 save this change reload this page again we are getting 404 why because already we have defined any here it's because inside this URL definition we have one parameter and two parameters but keep in mind we are passing one value here so if I pass forward slash again if you pass a string value again 404 because in the second placeholder we should have a numeric value so if we pass this value and here is the value what we are getting so inside coordinate for application if we want to operate with any kind of like let's say parameterized routing if we want to pass any parameters in URL so in these situations like passing placeholder called any num alpha and alpha ne alpha num we can actually accept those values and we can operate on those parameters now in the next video we will see all about query string parameters so what is the difference between query string parameters and let's say our simplest parameterized routing so in query string parameters instead of passing the value in such a way what I will do let's say value 1 this is our first value value 2 equal to this so we can find the differences between this is user friendly like value 1 value 2 what is separated by means of forward slash but inside this query string values these are value 1 value 2 are query string variables and these are values so it seems that or the or for the SEO point of view this is not user friendly but this is user friendly and uh, but in those means in both conditions we can easily handle or manage our application it depends upon the application development that either we can follow this type of parameterized routing or by means of query string parameterized routing so in the next video guys we will discuss all about query string parameters 
so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day